After a few days in the wonderful Atoll Volai, which was one of our favorite stops ever, it was time for us to leave for Yap. We had a distance of 290 nautical miles ahead of us and once again we got a rainy passage. So we're sailing again. When we came to Volai they said that it, they had didn't have rain for like months. So they five were glad if yeah, five months. So they were glad that we brought it. But I think we're gonna take it with us again. Yeah. Raining all the time for us. Skull, 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 skull. We are approaching Yap. Yep. Yeah. Are you sure where to go? Not really. I, I thought it was here, but there's the guy on the radio told us that we should anchor nearby some other vessel, but there is no other vessel here, so. Uh, yeah. We were at the wrong place. <laughs> We were at the northern side and we're supposed to be on the south side. Yeah, but it's not far away. Yeah, it's just about it. We found the right anchorage and went ashore, ready to meet our friend Paul Fenn and his son Graham. So, what's the plan for today, Lisa? Well. You can ask Paul, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, Paul here to, um, as a guest to make an interview today, so uh, we're looking forward to that. And can you give us a little bit introduction? Who are you, Paul? Yeah, so uh, I've uh, been associated with uh, Jeannot since 1997. Uh, for almost 20 years, I ran the U.S. subsidiary. But now a nice guy by the name of Nick Harvey took over for me. So I wouldn't be uh, chained to my desk and I could come out to places like Yap in the middle of the Pacific in Micronesia to talk to people like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and I got to bring Graham with me, who's over here, uh, my 12 year old. This is all going to be part of a series that we do now called Geno Underway, which is really profiling uh, folks just like yourself, just on your boat, having an adventure yeah and one of the things that we're fond of saying at you know is that life is too short to sit at the dock so go yeah and you guys have gone so i'm really looking forward to talking to you guys yeah and in the description below you find the link to our interview and the episode paul did about us on chanel underway he actually did a few more episodes about us after that so if you're interested take a look at those too uh so guys so i'm rolling and uh where did all this come from? You know, tell me a little bit about how this adventure began and tell me how you guys met and decided that you kind of wanted to go sailing. Should you go first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, the whole idea came from Oscar. How soon after you guys kind of became a couple did you guys start talking about this? <laughs> I think it was on the second date. Yeah, I think so too. Y you're married now because you're wearing wedding bands. We're not really married, we are engaged. Okay. Yeah. So, and did this did that happen after the uh, the voyage started? Yeah. Yeah, that happened in uh, French Polynesia, an island called Raroya. So we were we uh, get engaged there, uh, and we, you know, we plan to get married when we get home back home to Sweden. We have, to, we have to like a big celebration. If you haven't seen the episode when we got engaged and when Oscar made a ring out of a VHF antenna, you can see it in episode twenty eight. The actual proposal moment when Oscar surprises me is only available on our Patreon page. Our first evening on Yap started with a traditional and amazing dance show.
the upcoming days we wanted to explore the island as usual. Paul and Graham had a car and invited us for a road trip which turned out to be very interesting. Hi! I think it looks like the dogs are mature almost. So what? Do you still think we can go around in a circle? No, you can just uh, proceed. Oh, that's a huge bunny. Wow. A huge bunny. So the plan was to pass by here, but yeah. it's probably not going to be... It's not going to happen, right? Yeah. The bridge has um, collapsed. collapsed. And the car is up there, so we have to go all the way, all the way back to the same road, the other road we came so earlier. Turn around, drive back all that muddy road, yeah. and then back up, and then drive the uh, normal way. Yeah. Sadly though. So, um, where are we now? We're what kind of bank. place is that? We're at the bank. We're at the bank. So, uh, we couldn't uh, get the money out of the ATM, so I think we can maybe borrow this one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is uh, ancient coins. Yeah. Which is still ha has a value, I think. Oh yeah, I think so too. Yeah, so the, the, this coins belongs to somebody on the island. Yeah. And it usually stays here on the bank for kind of forever. Yeah. But we can find them pretty much a little bit here and there. I wonder if like the big ones is higher value. Um, you know I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, apparently not. Okay. That It's not that the bigger ones um, were necessarily bigger, but I think that the quality of the money, um, the stone that they used. Okay, the quality of the rock. Yeah, so apparently I think that um, the, the original ones were made in Palau, perhaps, and that the sailors would go over there and they'd make these the, the, the money out of limestone. All right. And then they got bigger. And so the reason for the hole is they put this, a pole through it. Yeah. And they could hoist these things up and carry them to the boats and secure them, I guess. Yeah. And then bring them back here. And uh, we were told that there was kind of a, um, uh, a deal struck because they, I think it was Palau, had the, um, had the stone. And they were, they were welcoming people from Yap to come and cut the stone, but that when they needed labor and skills, the people from Yap would go and help out. The stones kind of represented the wealth of the village. All right. Yeah, so it's kind of a symbol of like, hey, you know, we're... So how about the exchange rate? Yeah, I don't know if the exchange rate. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny though. Yeah. And they're still here. How much is it worth, do you think? More than me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> This is very, very cool. Yes, it really is. And there's some huge ones. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah. Oh my, this is so cool. Yeah, it is. So did you understand that uh, basically all these rocks yeah? were backrests? So this is where people would come out, sort of like the promenade deck on a cruise ship. Okay. And they would lean back. And that's what these were for. They were backrests. Oh, and there's a lot of them. So, so there yeah, usually it was a lot quite of... a big village. Yeah. I mean, where do you see something like this? It almost looks like something they created at Disney World. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like in some kind of movie, but this is... Yeah, it really does. Huh. There's some huge oh, ones. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Just a scale. Cold place. 
Yeah, it really very, is. Very, very cool. So many rocks. These are not rocks, Lisa. This is coins. Yeah, the coins, of course. <laughs> and it must have been a really oh rich God, this village. Is really impressive. Yeah. It's a Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin <laughs> yeah. Uh, old times Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Bitcoin. Good one, Graham. Ah, oh, Mackay village. Yeah. So, did you earn any money today? Yeah. This is yours? This is mine. Okay. And uh, we're gonna bring it back to Sweden. On board. <gasps> we just have to roll it, like, for some days. Or you can just put it in a pocket. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a big coin. Yeah. It's quite cool it really bank. Yeah. Probably was a really rich village. Yeah. So many people and so many coins. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. From the beginning our plan was to sail in South Pacific about a half a year and then continue to New Zealand or Australia. But since we love Pacific we stayed and sailed both South and North Pacific for one year instead. This interesting island in the Federated States of Micronesia was sadly our last stop in the Pacific. It was a strange feeling and we really hope to be able to go back to the Pacific again in the future. <laughs> Happy birthday! Mm. How much uh, are you turning this year? Uh, I'm turning 25. Ah, same as yours last year. The same as last year's. Ah. Uh, same as every year, I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm not go uh, getting older; I'm just getting wiser. Ah, uh, yeah. And we're gonna. We have a few things to take care of but we're gonna celebrate with a dinner tonight yeah first of all we get we have to get some diesel here and then we're gonna have to do the clearing procedure for tomorrow yeah and that's what we are doing yeah and tomorrow we sail to the Philippines yeah it's gonna be like five days sail I guess yeah
We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you want to contribute to our video production, you are more than welcome to become a patron. Just click on the logo in the end or follow the link below. In the next episode, we sailed to Southeast Asia and the Philippines, where we got a few scary obstacles in the ocean and have to drift during nighttime. We hope to see you then.